Well, thank you so much for joining me. This is a touch of tarot. There will be an extended, but let me get into this. Your message that came out, and it's totally you. This is air sign message. This is number 11, like justice. Um, this is really interesting. So Iris of the Rainbow talks about hope and promise of the future and how you were in a stormy time. Like I get that from the position it was in at the bottom. Uh, you're coming out of that storm. And the number one factor in that is by remaining faithful to what you know is coming, to the fact that you know that good will prevail. The storm may not be over, but you are definitely passing through the darkness. Now, the card that actually came out is the singer of transformation. Does this not look like a loving being coming out of the dark? This is absolutely incredible. You are actually embarking upon a transformation, like as I'm doing this reading, most likely. Let's look up and see if there's anything more. Um, there's going to be change. And it's not going to change others. It's only going to be changing yourself, which is really interesting. Well, obviously, it will affect others. What it's saying is that the change is about you. It's not about something else or someone else. It's about transcendence and metamorphosis. This also says jackpot. So some of you may be winning the lottery this week, but this card in the in a reading signifies the joy and success after a time of struggle. A new way of life has been accepted. And let me just get to that. I just want to read that part. Is being integrated. A scene of inner peace is growing. The struggle has all been worth it. Oh my gosh. Let's see what the heck's going on here. I can't believe it. Libra, I feel like your reading is going to be magnificent. There will be an extended. I don't know if I already said that. And if you want to book a reading, my info is below. I'm going to pull the cards first and then we're going to get into them. Thank you, Sandra, for this deck of cards. I've got two new cards here for us. So anyhow, but we're only going to use one. Let's see what's happening. Just give me a moment. Libra, to pull these cards. I really want to just get one at a time for you at this time. That's what I'm guided. So we're taking the tops. And I mean, it's, it's really interesting, but we're taking the tops. Definitely, you were in some darkness from what I see, which is very interesting as well. So this Three of Swords really wanted to come out because it was already trying to. So... You're coming out of that, that's for sure, especially next to the Ten of Cups. I'll start here and we'll clarify, and then I'll be clarifying even more um, in the extended. So Libra, I see your energy here at the bottom of the deck, the Queen of Swords, which is always nice when your energy actually comes up first. Um, but we have the Five of Swords in reverse. And this is actually about you having taken some rest after kind of concluding something or putting your foot down to something. Just from what I'm seeing here, because we have four swords up uh, facing up, one sword facing down. I need to look at this in the upright. You know, I already I already feel like you took your power back here. This is not your typical five of swords energy. You took you've taken your power back. Now there is like a pause, okay? It may be that you're deciding who you're going to offer something to or what you're going to offer um, because we have two twos next to each other, the two of coins, which is about indecision and the two of swords is also about like just not knowing what to do. But I do feel that you're going to figure it out. We need to clarify this much more. Um, with the five of coins, you're probably going to be taking an, or sorry, the six of coins, you're probably going to be um, taking an opportunity, uh, some sort of a, a gift. I don't know exactly what that is yet. We have to clarify, but it's going to get you out of the four of swords. I was calling it the three of swords. The four of swords really wants to come up, but that's the energy I'm getting. This is the rest and relaxation period after a struggle, after a heartache, after the storm that those cards talked about, right? And then this is leading to happiness. Now, this is not your typical ten of cups. No one's facing their back to anyone. Um, this is an energy of fulfillment. This is like, you know, I just feel like you have some someone who's very loyal to you, who is waiting and ready for you. Um, we'll see what happens here. We'll see. It could be this person making this offer that's going to get you out of this rest period. I feel like you're taking the rest because you really don't know what to do What next here. So let's see what we have. 
Let me pull these cards and then we will get into them. Okay, well that's a great, great, great. Oh, that's beautiful. Someone's gonna be opening up to you um, that I feel kind of, I guess these three wanna come. We'll save that other card there that didn't flip over. Okay, let's see what's going on here. So personally, I'm getting um, a vibe that yeah, you did have to let go of things. You're really, your energy's coming very strong here, but I almost feel it was mental, Libra. That would make sense. You're an air sign. Um, you could have truly been overthinking a situation. We have the Empress, and all I got to say is you making the choice to, like, put it down, put something down, and take rest was honestly the best decision. I see that you're going to be coming back refreshed and renewed, especially here with the transformation card. Um, what you were once hanging on to, you are no longer going to have the same perception. What you were once confused about, you're no longer going to look at it the same way. And instead of facing the past and whatever you were having regret about in the past, you're now ready to make a decision here. We have the Two of Swords being clarified by the Ace of Swords. Whatever you were waiting for, communication, um, truth, knowledge, it's coming in. Whatever you were confused about, you're getting the answers, even if they come from within yourself. But what I do feel is that there was someone that was holding back from you. This is the same person that now is helping you bring balance into your life, probably by communicating or giving you something you were waiting for is what I get here. It could just be an offer of gratitude or just acknowledgement but there's something coming in. You're being offered something. Um, wow, it could actually be love. There's something, something hurt you here, okay? And that's what you were resting from. And now I see an energy of love coming in. You were hurt. Um... I'm not sure exactly if it's the same person or someone new just yet. I will clarify more in the extended, but we'll do some clarification here. Whatever it is, it's probably, well, it talks about you coming out of a storm and having hope for something. So this could be someone that hurt you at one point and you were just left in confusion. I do feel if you were waiting for someone to make a decision between you and another person, they were too in confusion as well, right? That's why there was a pause. That's why they may have held back at one point and not really made a move. Now, I will say another thing that I feel this person definitely has a lot of love for you. But there's an energy of being unsure how to approach this. And I want to reiterate, we have the devil here. Um, we have a king and a queen of swords and wands but i'm going to pull an extra card for you during this reading here because i just want to make sure i don't leave you in confusion i don't know who this sword energy is um, and i want to see it's someone that's going to be coming in and communicating with you and giving you some sort of an offer that's going to make you very happy i think that what the offer is going to be is to have a a new start this really is this is someone, oh wow, this is someone who wants something solid with you. Um, this is also someone who was holding back on speaking to you. They may have had to let something else go. Someone may have had to walk away from almost a family energy. And to be honest, for some, I feel really uh, like if that if this is the case, someone lost their family. You know, and I'm so sorry about that. And this is why this person may have this guard up a little bit. They're going to come in. They're going to try and communicate, okay? But I do feel that this person still has a guard up here. That's, And, you know, by the way, this could be you, by the way. But you look at even the Queen of Swords still has a bit of a, a cage over her head and eyes. Little guard up, sword holding the sword, right? But this is representing someone who's very intellectual and very honest. I love this Queen of Swords, and I feel no bad energy from this deck. So let's just get... 
one card here for you for Libra. Oh, wow. Are you kidding me right now? It's the Grim Reaper in reverse. So this does talk about a reawakening, um, you know, coming out of that darkness, coming out of whatever the ending was in reverse. Very amazing. So a relationship that was over, it looks like there will be a second chance. Shush up. <laughs> wishes fulfilled, the fulfillment of wishes. This may be involving a fire sign with the emperor here. Um, but more importantly, Libra, it's really clear what's happening here is that you've taken some rest. There's a transformation that's happened probably in divine timing. Um, you're, you're back here, strong, ready, and now someone will be coming in to revive a relationship. Though I must say, and I have to say, this person is still going through the loss of something. Um, it could just be the loss of an ego, but I really feel it's someone that they were loyal to or someone they had a very strong connection with that they lost, okay? So Libra, if you want to join me in the extended, I would love it. I have a new level, $4.44. You can get all the extended videos Otherwise, if we're departing here, I still appreciate you so much. Thank you.